Let's make delicious chicken acne. Okay, so the ingredients that we need are 800 grams of chicken fillet, which I've cut into large pieces, three cups of rice, which I've washed, three large onions, and I've chopped that. I've got half a cup of chopped tomatoes, four tablespoons of cooking oil. The spices I've got is one teaspoon of turmeric powder, one and a half teaspoons of chili powder, one and a half tablespoons of coriander powder, one tablespoon of cumin powder, and I've got about one teaspoon of salt, or you can adjust that to your taste. Half a teaspoon of garam masala, one teaspoon of whole cumin, one large tablespoon of ginger and garlic paste, one heaped tablespoon of ghee. I've got some baby potatoes, red pepper cut into large chunks. I've got whole spices here, cardamom pods, black pepper, clove. Um, I've got some star anise as well. And also I've got some fresh coriander leaves. Okay, so in the pot we're going to add in the oil, the ghee, whole spices, the whole cumin, and we're just going to give that a stir. And then the chopped onions. And we're gonna cook these onions until they are nice and golden brown. Okay guys, so now the onions are ready and they're nice and golden, we're now going to add in the ginger and garlic paste. So I'm just going to cook the ginger and garlic inside so it doesn't taste so raw. And then we're going to add in the chicken. Just give that a stir. So I'm just going to put the heat up a little bit um, to medium. Um, I'm going to cover this and then I'm just going to come back to it and check it. Okay, so I'm just going to give this a quick mix. You can still see that there is still a lot of water in there. So we need to cook this for a bit longer. Okay, so the chicken is nicely done. We can see that um, the water's evaporated and you should be able to see the mixture of the oil and the ghee here. Um, and now what we're going to do is add in all the spices, apart from the garam masala, and also the tomatoes. So now we're just going to cook this gently as well, making sure we don't break any of the chicken pieces. So I'm just going to cover again for about two, three minutes. Just let the tomatoes and spices cook through um, and then I'll come back to it. So now we're ready to add in the other ingredients. So we're going to add in the rice, the red peppers, the garam masala. I've added the green coriander leaves as well and I've chopped that up. And then I'm just going to give that a stir. And also I'm gonna throw in the potatoes as well. And uh, you can peel them if you want to, but I've kept them in the skin um, because I want to keep them whole. Um, and also I'm going to add in about five and a half cups of water. And we're just gonna give that a mix. And at this point, after you've given that a stir, you can just taste the water. Um, if you need to add any more salt or if you want to add some more chili powder, then you can do that as well. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is just gonna cover that. Um, I'm gonna leave that to cook on medium and then I'm, I'm going to come back to this in about five minutes. Okay, so as you can see, there's a lot of steam. Uh, we're gonna carry on cooking this on uh, low heat or low to medium. Um, we're going to cook this until the rice is done um, and the water has evaporated. Try it out, let me know what you think in the comments below.